Y'all, this hair got me so ready to be a grown up. I, I just feel really seasoned. Like some good old Lowry's. But the 25% less sodium, the type that's a little bit better for you. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh yeah, Lowry's. Mm, mm, mm. Super easy, very quick, it wasn't demanding. The hair was separated so nicely that I literally just crocheted piece after piece after piece throughout this crochet cap. Put a few pieces up here at the top to make it seamless and bam. The majority of the hair is 1B. As you can see, I have a couple pieces of the 27, a couple pieces of the 30 in there to spice it up. Y'all know I like to spice up my styles. If it was a Spice Girl, her name would be Subtle, Subtle Spice. spice. Oh, this is cute. These curls are really cute. Okay, okay, okay. Stay focused. <laughs> okay, so what I did was three quarters of the way up, I used 12 inches. And then once I got to the top, I used nine inches. As you move up, your hair will automatically layer. So you don't have to do that. Some people like to cut their own layers depending on what style they're going for. But this is another thing that you can do if you're not strong with cutting layers or if you want the layers to be really deep. You can use two different lengths. So it gradually looks like, you know, it was cut that way. We know it's a little tricky chick, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, this turned out really cute, you guys. And I think it took like all together about 30 minutes, probably not even that long. It took me, let me see, because I timed myself to crochet the wig, it took me about 20 minutes. And then it took me maybe five minutes to put you know, to just fill in the top of my hair. And I just have two big cornrows in my hair, two French braids, Dutch braids, whatever you want to call them. That's it, and I just cornrowed on top of that. So when I take this wig off, I just remove my cornrows, my two large cornrows, and the pieces that I uh, crocheted into my hair will just slide right out. So very, 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 very easy. I use a U-part crochet cap because Really, that's what I had at the house. So I wasn't trying to go nowhere and do nothing and get nothing else. So I just used what I had at the house. Originally, I wanted to do a full crochet cap. Um, so yeah, it just didn't work out that way. This is really, ooh, this is bright, right in my face. And this is Toyo Tress Ocean Wave. I probably should have already said that, but you know. Y'all know I'm going to end up making it shorter. That's what I do. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. But I just wanted to give you the close up of these. Ooh, these curls are really pretty. This will give you about a three week style if you were just using this in your own hair. Now, the good thing about these wigs is you can take this baby off, honey. When you ready to take it off and, you know, put it on when you ready to put it on. <laughs> So yeah, this turned out really cute. I look so grown, y'all. <laughs> I am a grown woman. Like I really am. I'm so grown, like. <laughs> now, when you get into making wigs, you have to have wig blocks. You gotta have that canvas head. Why? Well, because people have different size domes, the domage, the domology. It's, you know, it's scientific. It's mathematic what we do when we style our hair. You know what I'm saying? It really is. Because you have to have a nice, snug fit, right? So I use a 21, which is a perfect size for me. So this fits so nicely. It's airy, as you know. It lets air get to that scalp. So this is a win-win. Um, it's cute. I'm gonna cut it to y'all. Y'all know I'm gonna cut it. Y'all know that. Y'all know me, we family. Even though I mixed it between 12 and nine, I still used eight bundles, okay? All right, I like this. Okay, so I'm gonna stop playing in this and I'm going to get some pictures and then I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> Do they do cut it? I am gonna cut it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay. All right, y'all. Y'all stay tuned for that cut too.
And although it hurts There's nothing I would 